All right, let's take a look at how to use the new head motion feature in Analyzer and Targeter. Uh, first off, you'll need the new software. So for Analyzer, you're going to need 2.6 or above. Retargeter, you're going to need 4.6 or above. Okay, so I'm in Analyzer right now. I'm going to create a new job. So I've just picked a static cam video. Uh, it won't do you a whole lot of good to test head rotation with a head mounted camera video, as there is no head rotation. Uh, but any static cam where you got some head moving around should uh, be a good test. All right, all the standard stuff here. Give your job a name, find a uh, location for it. Um, under the advanced tab, the default analysis definition is uh, going to work just fine. All of the, uh, the new analyzer version ships with three different analysis definitions. That includes some optional markup groups. Um, but all of them have the head, so the default will be just fine. All right, go ahead and hit create. There we go. Okay, so we have some data, so I'm just going to quickly auto track this video. Static cam model will be fine. Now the head rotation is not its own markup group, it sort of happens in the background. So you do still need to track the video because without the tracking data it doesn't know where the head's rotating. Uh, but once you do have the tracking data here, and all of your tracking is correct as it is from this auto track, um, we now have the head rotation. So you don't have to worry about physically tracking the head, it just does it all for you. So what could be better than that? All right, now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and parameterize. So add your neutral frame and go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to just pause the video and parameterize and come back in a second so you don't have to wait. OK, so I've just parameterized and I have my FWR file here. And we are ready to check out some animation. So I'm going to come over to Maya. All right, and files, here we go, FWR. So this is Retargeter. Again, this is Retargeter 4.6. You're going to need that version. Um, it's not going to do you much good to retarget, uh, sorry, to parameterize a new video from the new analyzer, but then try to open it in the old Retargeter. Both of them have to be updated. All right, so I have my new FWR. Uh, I'm also going to need an updated character setup file. So before I open this, let's go ahead and open character setup. I'm going to load this file here that I've been working with. Um, at the bottom, you have six new expressions. Uh, there's another tutorial that covers this kind of in detail about how to create these. Um, so make sure you have an updated character setup file and that you've posed out these new expressions. Also make sure you've added the head group, um, otherwise it's not going to know where to put your head motion. All right, so opening up a new job here. Get your updated FWR, your updated character setup file. So I'll go ahead and import video, hit OK. All right, now I have my head group in my list here. So let's just quickly move this guy up, or this girl, I should say. Line it up so we have an idea of what's going on. And select your head group and hit retarget. All right, now if we go ahead and scrub, you can see we have head rotation. Uh, it's that easy. So. It's actually better to just use plain autosolve and not add your own poses um, because with autosolve, it's actually a one to one degree match, meaning it calculates the degrees her head is turning uh, and then applies them uh, one to one to your controllers. Um, if you start to add your poses, you're basically uh, telling it that you want to kind of go away from the one to one and it'll still work. You know, you'll be augmenting it in the same way you would uh, with regular retargeting with the other groups. But if you're looking for accuracy, I recommend just going ahead and auto-solving. Uh, okay, so that's that for head motion. It's, it's that easy. Um, if you're having different results or it's not that easy for you, then feel free to email us at support at facewartech.com and we can help you out.